Hey. Hey. I brought you a mocha. I know it's your favorite. Oh, thanks. You're welcome. Even my lips hurt. I'm sorry. And I'm not just talking about the pain. You're gonna have a lot of people coming to you asking a lot of questions. And the police are gonna come. And they're gonna wanna know everything that happened with Ethan. I came to speak to you about my daughter and specifically about the animal that beat her up. I'll help you any way I can. I'm sure that Sonny has already ordered you to kill Ethan. And while I admit there's a part of me that would really enjoy that, you can't. Oh, Christine, I really am. Did you hear what I said? I don't think that we should talk about this. Alexis, you're upset. Upset doesn't even begin to describe how I'm feeling right now. My daughter's in the hospital and I barely recognize her. I want Ethan to pay for what he did every bit as much as Sonny does. But if Ethan dies, Christina will blame herself even more than she already does. I'm warning you, Jason. You kill Ethan. My daughter is not going to recover. Do we have to tell the police? I just want this whole thing to be over. I don't want to think about it anymore. I, I, I know, baby. I've, I've been where you are, okay? And I know you're probably feeling really guilty and ashamed right now. Like you're the one to blame, even though you're lying here in the hospital bed. It's really weird how that works. But it's wrong. I can tell you from my own experience that this is not your fault. And you really, really need to know that, okay? And I can also tell you, you are going to get better. And you're going to come out of this a lot stronger than you were before. Do you think my face will be like it was before? <laughs> yeah, of course it will. These are just bruises. And they're going to heal up in time. You just got to give it time. <laughs> but you are still beautiful, so don't you worry about that. I don't want anyone to see me right now, not like this. Okay. You don't, you don't have to worry about that. I'm going to make sure the only people get in here are the people who really need to talk to you. But you do have to understand that the police are going to come in here and they are going to ask you a lot of questions about what happened with Ethan and you have to be honest with them. The most important thing to remember is you cannot, I beg you, you cannot protect your attacker. Ethan has to pay the consequences for what he did to you. This is his fault, not yours. Okay, I think, I think I'm getting kind of tired now. Okay. Well, then I guess you need to get a little bit of rest. Like, I'm just gonna go and do something. Is that cool? That's <laughs> cool. Thanks, Sam, for everything. I love you. I love you too. Close your eyes. Good to see you. Maybe you should get some rest. I think what I need right now is this. It, just, it makes me feel like I've got something right. How's she doing? She's gonna be okay. Eventually. It's just that, gosh, Jason, I am so mad. I'm, I, I want to kill Ethan, but at the same time, I am furious at myself for letting there's this happen. No way, there's no way you could have known. Yeah, I know, but I know what it feels like to be overpowered by a man. And to not be strong enough to fight back. It's the most helpless feeling in the world and and it was just like everything that Christina told me it 
it, it seemed like that she was trying to act like me, walk like me, talk like me, and in some way she's trying to emulate her cool, wild, older sister. You're amazing. And you're amazing to Christina. Okay. But she makes her own choices. And there's no way that you could have prevented this. I just, I wish there was something more that I could have done. Yeah. Can't change anything now. But you can help Christina. Okay? Okay. You can be strong. You can show her how strong you are. I know that she's gonna be okay. Oh. It's okay. Hey, Jason. It's okay, you can come in. How you feeling? I'm okay. I mean, I will be. Is there anything, uh, you need anything I can get for you? No, I'm fine. Thanks. I'm surprised you can look at my face. Most people turn away so I can't see their reaction. It's okay. You're gonna heal. Hmm. That's what Sam said. She did? Mm hmm Well, I'm actually here for her. And, uh, your dad. Because it might be hard for you to talk to them about everything, so I figured you might want to talk to me. That's the point. I mean, it's not like it's going to change anything. Yeah, well, when you know, something terrible like this happens, you have to figure out what happened and why, and a really good way to do that is just to talk to somebody. She left, and that's when there was this loud knock at the door, and it was Ethan, and he was really mad. Sam told me that she went right to the Haunted Star and talked to Ethan right after she left you. Look, I, I'm just, you know, I'm just trying to get everything clear because obviously Ethan can't be in two places at, at the same time. Is there a, a chance that you made a mistake? 